हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सी वन न्यूमेरिकल ऑन ट्रांजिट हीट कंडक्शन लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड द क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन इज अ कॉपर स्पीयर वेइंग 3 केजी नाउ हियर कॉपर स्पीयर इज गिवन मींस इट इज अ स्पेरिकल ऑब्जेक्ट राइट सो लेट अस ड्रॉ द स्पीयर लेट अस से दिस इज अ स्पीयर मेड अप ऑफ कॉपर राइट नाउ let us say the diameter of sphere is d the radius of sphere will be r right and the mass of sphere is given 3 kg this copper sphere is having mass 3 kg then is heated in a furnace to a temperature of 300 degrees celsius now this sphere is heated in a furnace to a initial temperature of 300 degrees celsius so here initial temperature of this sphere is given 300 degrees celsius then and is suddenly taken out and allowed to cool in ambient air at 25 degrees celsius now the ambient air temperature is given that is surrounding air temperature t infinity is given 25 degrees celsius then if it takes 60 minutes for the copper sphere to cool down to 35 degrees celsius now time here given time is 60 minutes which is nothing but 60 into 60 second to cool down to the temperature of 35 degrees celsius right then what is the average heat transfer coefficient take density is equal to 8950 kg per meter cube and specific heat is equal to 0.383 kJ per kg kelvin right now my dear students here density we have to consider 8950 kg per meter cube and the specific heat cp is nothing but 0.383 it is kJ per kg kelvin let us convert into joule per kg kelvin therefore it will become 383 joule per kg kelvin right and we have to find the heat transfer coefficient h and we have to find in watt per meter square kelvin right this convective heat transfer coefficient h that that is a question right now my dear students here we have to assume lumped heat capacity analysis so here my assumption is assume lumped heat capacity analysis lumped heat capacity analysis right heat capacity analysis that means we are assuming for this calculation the h will be the h value will come such that the biot number will be less than 0.1 right so here my assumption is lumped heat capacity analysis so let us use the formula of lumped heat capacity analysis now here i will erase the question so that we will get sufficient space because everything is written now we have written each and every given data and we have understood the question now let us understand here now my dear students there is a one sphere at initial temperature ti and this sphere is heated in a furnace and suddenly taken out and after some time t right after some time t the temperature of sphere becomes t right and surrounding fluid temperature is t infinity so let us find the convective heat transfer coefficient h right now my dear students the lumped heat capacity analysis formula is temperature t minus t infinity divided by ti minus t infinity is equal to e to the power minus h a then have a rho v c p into time t now this is a lumped heat capacity analysis formula right here h is unknown but my dear students we know we don't know the area of this sphere because diameter and radius is not given we don't know the volume of the sphere because diameter and radius is not given but here mass and density is given now we know that the density is equal to mass divided by volume therefore from this the density is equal to mass divided by volume from this we can say the volume is equal to mass divided by density so let us find the volume therefore mass is given 3 kg density is given here density is 8950 kg per meter cube therefore this will be the volume 3 divided by 8950 meter cube this will be the volume right and my dear students here volume of sphere we know how to find volume volume of sphere is nothing but 4 by 3 pi r cube right this is a volume of sphere so let us find this radius therefore my dear students here r cube will be equal to 3 into volume divided by 4 pi this is equal to 3 into 3 divided by 8950 into 4 pi so my dear students let us solve this equation for radius so from this equation i will get radius of this sphere will be 0.04309 meter this answer will be in meter right 
now once you calculate radius the diameter is twice of radius right now let us use this formula now we have calculated radius now we can calculate area as well as volume right now here this area divided by volume of a sphere let us find this ratio area divided by volume of a sphere now here we have to consider surface area because this surface of sphere is subjected to convection heat transfer right therefore we have to consider surface area surface area of sphere is 4 pi r square divided by volume of sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cube here 4 4 pi pi r square r square will get cancelled the answer will be 3 by r so here this area divided by volume we are going to replace with 3 by r right and r just now we have calculated so let us find this therefore area divided by volume we will replace by 3 by r right and radius is nothing but here 0 0.04309 meter right so let us write down this formula again therefore the formula will become become t minus t infinity t minus t infinity you have a ti minus t infinity is equal to e to the power minus e h t you have a rho cp into here area divided by volume is c divided by r right so here my dear students in this complete equation only e h is unknown so let us solve this equation for e h right if i consider log here log to the base e function on both sides because here we have to remove exponential function so consider ln function therefore log to the base e is nothing but ln t minus t infinity divided by ti minus t infinity is equal to we can write minus c t into e h divided by rho c p into r right so my dear students let us put all the values here now final result we got here now here let us put the all values and find the answer therefore we will get ln of t is nothing but temperature is given 35 degrees celsius 35 minus surrounding fluid temperature is given 25 degrees celsius divided by initial temperature is 300 degrees celsius 300 minus 25 is equal to minus 3 into time is given 60 into 60 seconds into h we have to calculate divided by density is given 8950 into specific heat is given c83 c83 into radius just now we have calculated 0 0.04309 so my dear students in this complete equation only h is unknown so let us solve this equation for h and if i calculate this h i will get h is equal to 45.3264 watt per meter square kelvin Right, this will be the convective heat transfer coefficient e h. Now here, let us cross check. Let us cross check. Now, my dear students, here we have assumed lumped heat capacity analysis. Initially, what we have assumed, we have assumed lumped heat capacity analysis. Then only we have applied this formula. Right, and for lumped heat capacity analysis, biot number must be less than 0 0.1. Right. Now here, this biot number is nothing but H L divided by K of solid. Now here L is nothing but characteristic dimension, which is nothing but volume divided by surface area. This L is nothing but volume divided by surface area. Now area divided by volume was P by R. Therefore, volume divided by surface area will become R by 3. Because just now we have derived area divided by volume was P by R. Right. So volume divided by surface area will be R by 3. So let us replace here L with R by 3. Therefore, it will become H R divided by 3K. Right. Therefore, this biot number will be equal to convective heat transfer coefficient just now we have calculated 45.3264 into radius also calculated 0 0.04309 divided by 3 into thermal conductivity is given k is given i think the value of k is given in the question okay in the question thermal conductivity is not given but we know that it is a copper it was a copper cube for copper thermal conductivity is 385 for copper thermal conductivity is 385 so let us find this biot number Therefore, this biot number value will be equal to 1.69 into 10 to the power minus 3, which is definitely less than 0 0.1. Therefore, here our assumption that it is a lumped heat capacity analysis is correct. So, answer will be H will be equal to 45.3264 watt per meter square Kelvin. Thank you, dear students. In next lecture, we will see one more numerical on this topic, which was asked in previous year gate examination.